On this week's episode, I'm not in New York City, but I'm reminiscing about being in New York City with Ryan Serhan in January 2019. I'm in front of a wall that looks like New York City. Guys, it's not about traditional versus new. It's about both. Start using social. Did you catch that? My price still going up like NASDAQ. We send shots, make them duck like Aflac. All this fake news, can we bring the facts back? Never backtrack, still on the up and up. And nobody catching up to us. Every time we double down, then we double up. So if we keep winning, can you really call it luck? Yeah. But what's your take on where the brokerage business is going and the traditional model? You know, it's. Uh, I used to think that the traditional model was just going to die. I think a year ago, we were at the Agent 2021 conference, and I was like, the traditional brokerage model is over, it's over, it's dead and gone. And then a bunch of brokerages failed after that, both traditional and non-traditional, right. because individual salespeople, right, they are the ones who create the business, but they also need a home. And so, you know, and homeowners and purchasers, like they want to be handheld with the best. So I've kind of honestly started to backtrack on my thinking because it's not like Fidelity, Schwab and E-Trade have made Goldman Sachs go away. Right. It's just Goldman Sachs has adapted itself and they've updated and they've con they've continued to stay the best given where technology in the future is taking them. And people trust them even more right. because they're so good at it. So maybe what's gonna happen is the best brokerages will just adapt their model, will adapt how they pay commissions, will adapt to the future, or they will be completely eaten up and, and destroyed, sure. which will happen to most. All right, guys, what's up? And welcome to episode 212. Yes, you heard me correct. 212 episodes weekly for the past four and a half years. You can do the math. So basically today, what I wanted to talk about is the importance of this thing, okay? Two years ago, I sat down with Ryan Serhan in January of 2019, and Ryan in the residential real estate business, myself in the commercial and more specifically retail real estate business, talked about the traditional brokerage model. Okay, when we talked about it in January of 2019, Ryan, I don't believe, knew that he would be opening his own company in uh, the midst of a pandemic in 2020, but we all know that that happened. And I commend Ryan for doing it because people who do not take risks like that, even though in my opinion, it was a relatively easy leap because Ryan built a brand around himself and an ecosystem that benefits other people in the industry. What do I mean by that? Today, it's extremely important as a real estate broker to line yourself up with a company that has your best interest in mind, understands where the world is today and where it's going, has the tools and resources that are able to give you more exposure, create and develop a personal brand, leverage the use of social media and video, so you are visible on this thing, okay? So that is the most important thing that I've learned over the last two years since I sat down with Ryan Serhant in January of 2019. Now, I will tell you that when I did sit down with him, I already believed everything I just said, which is why the name of the vlog was Future Proof. People, I've been telling the industry to future proof themselves, people as individual humans and companies that you need to be using these tools in order to be relevant tomorrow, okay? That was always something I've been extremely passionate about, something I really firmly believe, and by the way, has become even more evident as a result of the pandemic. The pandemic forced everybody home and everybody was invisible. What were they doing? Sitting on their couch, watching this thing. What happened to my personal brand, to this company's brand, and the creation of this right here? It became extremely evident that it's super important to use all of these platforms on a moving forward basis. So people, this is a wake up call to the industry. All of you new to Clubhouse who realize now that social media 
guys, Clubhouse is social media, even though it's just voice and you're not creating content on video and dispersing it in organic native clips for each platform, like I've been doing for five years now, it's still social media. It's almost the gateway drug, if you will, to social media. What happened to Instagram as a result of Clubhouse? My Instagram's growing rapidly because in your profile, you can only put two things, your Twitter handle and your Instagram handle. Guys, nobody thought Instagram was professional or worthwhile up until Clubhouse came around. Guess what? Now you're extremely far behind. I ran the risk of spending all of the time and energy that I do on not only my individual Instagram, but the Sabre Real Estate Instagram. I could have wasted a ton of time, energy, and money and resources over the last several years that I've been developing those, but I knew that I'm creating a digital resume. I am establishing social proof. People, my Instagram is my digital resume. It's essentially a website, okay? It's almost replacing a website in ways. So I'm telling everybody here today, I'm making it official, that when Ryan talked about in 2019, the individual broker, he was talking about how important the individual person is and that they essentially are their own business. They're their own company. I believe that. I'm a broker for 20 years now. The reason I left the big shop that I was at before I started Sabre was they didn't care much about me. That's how I felt and it became very evident when I gave my notice and said I'd be leaving, they basically said don't let the door hit you on the way out. Now the reality is I had a great experience, I loved working at the big company, it was important to me in the life cycle of being a broker and starting my own brokerage company, I would not trade it for the world. But the reality is I knew that it wasn't gonna be something that I stuck with the rest of my career. So now I know it's extremely important to be at the right place that gives you all of these tools and resources and not only doesn't tell you you cannot use social media, helps you do it in the most meaningful, impactful, and productive way. Guys, as I tell you always, feel free to reach out to me. I am all about having an impact on this industry. I'm helping usher the industry into the digital era with the digital army and obviously Sabre, a cloud-based data-driven advisory firm. So people, I appreciate your time, I appreciate your energy, and I appreciate you realizing that this is a marathon, not a sprint, and you have to, the same way that if you're into fitness and you wanna work out and look good and feel better, you need to stick with it. You need to be consistent. You need to put a, uh, you need to put a goal in place a strategy in place, reverse engineer it for the long term. And I hope that you guys understand everything that I just said and how much has transpired in the last two years from the video clips that we showed you from me sitting down with Ryan Serhant in January of 2019. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Fake news, can we bring the facts back? Never backtrack, still on the up and up. And nobody catching up to us. Every time we double down, then we double up.